ओम विष्णु बदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी ईटी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवानी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवाणी पास के चरण सिथारिणे उमा ज्ञान अथमनंद सिया घनंजन सलाखया चक्षुर उन्मिली थमजेन थाजमाई श्री गुरुवे नमः आई वाज बोर्न इन द डार्कनेस ऑफ इग्नोरेंस but my eternal spiritual master is divine grace shri lesi bhaktivedanta swami shila prabhad has forced my eyes open with the torch light of knowledge therefore I offer my most humble obeisances unto his lotus feet how could i ever forget his mercy upon me i want to first of all beg forgiveness from senior vaishnavas uh <clears throat> who should be going before me but i have to, i have to see a doctor a little bit earlier so i had to come a little bit early today is the 38th anniversary of your physical disappearance from this world and i've been asked to say something to glorify you although it's my duty i always find it difficult to figure out what to say i'd be puffed up to say that i'm your most fallen disciple but i'm certain that i am one of the most fallen and when i examine myself i don't find the quali- qualification to be able to glorify you maybe glorifying you is kind of like offering a ghee lamp to the sun or like a handful of water to the ocean but i don't think it's even that since the lamp has the same quality of fire as the sun and a palmful of ocean water has the same quality as the ocean I can honestly say that sometimes by your mercy I do feel on the threshold of realizing my qualitative oneness with the supreme lord especially after chanting in kirtan for hours or chanting my rounds early in the morning but then at other times I experience uncontrollable anger lust and material greed arise in my heart In any case when I remember your transcendental qualities and pastimes I immediately realize my utter insignificance and my complete dependence on your mercy After Ajamil chanted the holy name of Lord Narayan and the Vishnu duties came to save him he said I am a shameless cheater who has killed his brahminical culture indeed I am sin personified where am I in comparison to the all auspicious chanting of the holy name of narayan shila prabhu in the purport you state quote those who, those engaged in broadcasting the holy name of narayan krishna through the krishna consciousness movement should always consider what our position was before we came and what it is now we had fallen into abominable abominable lives as mediators drunkards and women hunters who performed all kinds of sinful activities but now we have been given the opportunity to chant the, the hari krishna mantra therefore we should always appreciate this opportunity and be conscious of the difference between our present and past conditions unquote shri the prabhupada where am i in comparison to the spiritual qualities your divine grace possesses and exhibited during your manifest pastimes every single word you spoke and every action you performed proved that you were on the topmost platform of spiritual realization and constantly in association with the supreme personality of godhead krishna how many times did various devotees observe the transcendental ecstatic symptoms of a mahabhagavat in your person even though you tried to suppress them every morning we sing nikunjayu no rat keli sidai eyali be yuktir apikshan shaniya titrati daksha shud dati valabasya vande goro shri charanaravinda shila vishwanath chakravarti thakur states that the spiritual master is very dear because he is a, he is expert in assisting the gopis who at different times make tasteful arrangements for the perfection of radha and krishna's conjugal loving affairs within the groves of vrindavan therefore i offer my most humble obeisances under the lotus feet of of such a spiritual master therefore shila prabhupada you are undisputedly 
You may not be everyone's, shik, everyone's Diksha Guru, but you are undisputably the Shiksha Guru for the entire Krishna Consciousness Movement, and your instructions and books will be continued to be read and followed for at least the next 10,000 years. Srila Prabhupada, please help me to carefully guard against the mad elephant offense so that I never, ever minimize your position and utilize your position in opulence for my own personal aggrandizement. Should the proud please save me from the false pride and arrogance that would cause me to think that you are an ordinary person like me. Please help me never forget the fact that although the first class pure devotee sometimes descends to the second class platform in order to preach, that does not mean that he has become less. Srila Prabhupada, you are still Krishna's fully transcendental confident. You never become like an ordinary man. It is only your pastime for the purpose of preaching. So Srila Prabhupada, how can I, a tiny insignificant jiva soul, bewildered by the Lord's illusory energy, even begin to estimate your unfathomable transcendental qualities? One thing is certain, Srila Prabhupada, you saved me. You saved me from birth and death. And, and the untold sufferings of countless lives in between. Although I had and still have no qualification, by your cause's mercy, you picked me up and allowed me the opportunity to engage in the service of Lord Krishna and the service of your lotus feet. Please give me the benediction to be able to eternally worship your lotus feet as the insignificant servant of the servant of servant of your pure servants, your insignificant disciple, Banabhattadas. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai!